Honourable Deputy de Gaspésie de la Madeleine. Uh, merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, you'll notice uh, that today I'm wearing grey, and I think the reason I'm wearing grey is because of the dark cloud that's uh, hanging over our heads because of this bill. Now that's relevant. I would say that here, here, here. there's a real problem. There's so many problems with this bill that I don't even know where to begin. But I'm going to start by um, proposing, suggesting. First of all, I'd like to thank um, the member for his for his uh, expose because I think it was well considered, although I think flawed. Um, Parts of this bill talk about um, exceptions for safe country designations um, where members of uh, the LGBT community, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and trans, um, may very well not be able to have access to our refugee system because uh, the minister won't be able to use those designations anymore to determine whether a country is actually safe. And I would say in Mexico, being gay is, is can be very dangerous and, and, in fact, many people have lost their lives. I don't agree with the way this bill is, be, is, being present, uh, is written today, and I really would, I'd really like to hear the, uh, the uh, members' comments on how lesbian and gay uh, members of this, uh, of, the, of our, in the world, are going to be able to access this, I agree with them, great country of ours, and I think one of the reasons it's such a great country is because we do, we do welcome people who are in danger in other countries, and with this bill, we're not going to be able to do that, and people's, people's lives are going to be at risk, so I'd like to hear his comments on risking people's lives for political purposes. Honourable Member for Don Valley East. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the uh, question from my colleague over there. And, uh, you know, I think, again, you know, there are countries where gays, lesbians, and uh, whatever uh, uh, bent you have uh, are quite safe and actually perform very well from that point of view. There are also abuses from countries like Mexico that have taken place in the last year. And you can see where claims of being, uh, you know, of that gender or whatever uh, have been made when, when it's totally false. In fact, I think there was at one point 1,500 people coming in from Mexico every, every month. Um, so there's a, there's a balance that needs to be made, and this bill, I believe, gives that balance to, for that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay.